Dennis, go ahead. Good afternoon, all. My name is Dennis Lecky, Product Development Agronomist for the Northeast Region. I want to thank you all for joining us today in this training session. Um, today, we'll be focusing specifically on the AgroCare product line. And as you can see on the screen, these are some of the, just some of the products that are supplied by AgroCare, which many of you would be familiar with. But for those who aren't familiar with these products, you know, by the, 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 how the quality of these products. Okay, so I can plant and our Caribbean Chemicals Jamaica, um, you know, has partnered with AgroCare Limited over the past few years, um, you know, to bring quality products to our customers. And you know, back it up with Agchems or Caribbean Chemicals Jamaica quality customer service. Now, a quick overview of um, Agricare Limited. Now, they have products in two specific lines which we bring here in Jamaica. Um, the herbicide lines, and what we'll be doing is looking at the products and how well they work. Um, give you some feedback from our farmers, you know, in terms of our trials or demonstrations that were done with the products. Look at the insecticide lines and their if efficacy and what the farmers' um, reactions to these products were. And then do a quick summary and have a question and answer session uh, with you, the farmers. Now, first of all, we'll be looking at Carzone. Now, Carzone's active ingredient is metribuzin, and this is one product that has been around for a number of years. Most farmers will know it as the herbicide that we can, that can use through your tomato, or you can use it through your carrots. But also, it is registered for use in sugarcane, um, Irish potatoes, and turf grass. Now, based on the fact that it can be used through your actual crops that you grow commercially, would tell you that it is a selective herbicide. So it actually targets specific weeds and leaves your crops that you're growing commercially for money alone. It's also pre and post emergent. So in terms of being pre emergent would mean that it kill the weed seeds before they germinate and post emergent mean that it would kill the actual weeds after they're growing up and they're growing up in your tomato field or your carrot field, as the case might be. Now, some of the target weeds that this product controls includes, you know, your, your common, your wild callaloo, which gives a lot of farmers trouble, your milkweed, your white top, your fall foot grass, your lantana, your goose grass, among many, many others. Now, recommended crops that this can be used through, we have the carrots, we have sugarcane, we have tomatoes, Irish potatoes, and turf. But importantly, even though this product is safe for use through these crops, there are specific times at which you must use them through the crops. So it can be said that you're going to use it through a carrot or a tomato field that just plant out and start to germinate. No, you can't do that. If you do that, it can burn up the plants. For example, for and an, on the label itself for this product, it actually gives you the instructions of when it is, is the ideal time to use it in each of the following crops. However, roughly after the plant reaches about three to five leaf stage, it would be safe for you to use it in, for example, your carrots or your tomatoes. However, just because it's safe for use through them, that don't mean that when you're going to be spraying the product, you're going to spray and bathe the, the, the commercially grown crop. So 
one of the things ensure in your application process you spray through the crop through the interrows between the plants but try your best not to actually drench the, 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 the commercial grown crops and don't spray the actively growing areas what we would call the bud them the bud leaf or the heart leaf them you don't want to spray and wet up those because those are still pretty delicate areas of the plant that are growing in terms of re-entry period and this really refers to how long after you spray you can go back into the field the re-entry period for car zone is one day the presentation size that we have it in is a 10 gram pack and the instructions in terms of mixing your spray will give you between say five and ten grams per gallon you know for some crops it might be seven to ten some is five to ten it depends on the age of the crop the stage of the crop and the stage of the weeds that you're trying to control also important for you to note is that in order to get the pre-emergent effects of the of the this product you want to ensure that the soil is moist before you do the application so that is very important to note now looking at the pre-harvest interval as well if you spray it through your carrots is 30 days from the time that you spray it through the carrot to the time that you can harvest the carrots so you cannot harvest within a month of spraying so you have to ensure that you'll be wary of that that is important to note in terms of your tomatoes it's at 21 days so 21 days from the day that you spray you have to wait that period before you can harvest in terms of sugarcane that you're looking at a 60 day period between spraying to harvesting so note these very important things because you don't want to be harvesting your crop and poisoning off your customers at the same time that is not very good for business if you kill them off who to buy from you next week all right so all in all observe the pre-harvest intervals now as i was mentioning for carrots is five to ten grams per 3.8 liters or just about one to two teaspoons per gallon um usually that apply three to four weeks after direct seeding and again at eight to nine weeks if necessary i find um that in carrots if you had done your land prep properly planted out your carrots and gave them the chance to germinate you won't usually see weeds coming into your field until after four weeks five weeks and if you do the application once at that five week stage you should be ahead of all the weeds coming going um, developing in your feed field and they won't be able to overtake and give you any problems where you would need a second application zone in your field in terms of tomatoes tomatoes the application five to ten grams per 3.8 liter and this model up to the application two weeks after transplanting but once again as i say avoid contact with the top two-thirds of the plant so really is closer to the root zone of the plant that you want to do that application in terms of the pre-emergent application once again the soil must be moist before applying for best results because you need that moisture for the chemical to penetrate the soil and then kill the weed seeds before they germinate if the place dry the chemical settling right on the soil and not going anywhere down in the soil where the weeds are in order to kill them. Post emergent application. Now this for the for the absorption of the chemical is actually through the roots and it destroys um emerging or emerge wheelings. And you know for, for this properly is one that you can actually mix with other pesticides. So, you know, I've had farmers who mix it with insecticides or even with fungicides in doing the, the typical spray program. But my advice to you um, farmers is that in, in, in every single um, spray application that you do, please ensure, if you please ensure that you do 
chemical vulnerability test. So if anything, you're not sure how these two chemicals are going to react. So for example, would not recommend that you use carazone with something like a diazinon or a carachox to spray because there might be some reaction with the carazone and that product. So I would say to you is that, okay, if you want to try mixing other chemicals with the carazone, do a compatibility test, test it out on a small area, probably one or two plants to see. Don't try mix it and go spray the entire field a uh, 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 mixture of chemicals and then burn down your crop and say, Lord, is the car zone do it? Now, here are some of our actual field applications. So the image on your left, you know, you can see how the weeds were in the carrot that was growing there in the field. After, in the middle, you can see after the application, you can start to see the weeds drying up and then dead and gone, and the carrot is still there growing and developing well. All right, we're looking now at the insecticides. Now, carrot tracks has, is one product that has been around for a while, and it's a contact insecticide, which pretty much means that for maximum efficacy, it must come in contact with the target pests. Now, this is one of those products that works very, very fast. And pretty much from the time you spray it, any insect that it comes in contact with, it pretty much kill them almost same time. It's one of those products also that, that you ensure that you wear for this one. If you even take the risk one and two times with other chemicals, this one you don't run any risk with it not wearing your protective gears a number of farmers um you know have had allergic reactions to caratrax um, and other products with a similar kind of active ingredient you know where it actually burns the skin so please ensure for caratrax you know or, or caratrax like products you ensure that you wear your protective gears and with well, all chemicals that is but i know some farmers they'll say to a boss we can't manage the, 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 the respirator and the gloves and the overall and raincoat and water boot. You know, some things got to give. And them don't wear the gloves. And it come on them hand and them say them hand burning them after them done spray. Or it blow on them face and them face burning them after them spray. You know, it's not something that we want. We want you to be around for years to come to be able to continue growing and working with you, the farmers. Now, in terms of the target pests, it kills actually a wide variety of pests, um, as I mentioned before. So your army worms, your paddy bugs, white fly strips, you know, your beetles, your caterpillars, etc. And it can be used for a wide variety of crops, including your vegetables and fruit trees. And you know, uh, farmers also use like carrot trucks, you know, in freshly trans transplanted seedlings, you know. For crickets, your mole crickets, this is a very good product in terms of preventing cutters from cutting down your 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 plants. So a product like this one, Caratrax and Diazinon are perfect products that you can rotate between in terms of applications to control to control um, cutters, you know, cutworms and that kind of stuff. In terms of recommended crops your vegetables and fruit trees it's safe for use and your application rate is between 2.5 to 5 mils per 3.8 liters your re-entry um, interval or re-entry period is 12 hours so 12 hours from the time that you spray to the time that you go back into your field so basically the re our recommendation for use of or insecticides, fungicides, foliar, fertilizers, etc., is that the best time for you to spray it is in the late evening. So if you do the application in the late evening as is recommended, then you would not go back into your field until the next morning, which would be give you the 12 hour period that you need for reentry. Your post harvest interval is two days for vegetables and 20 days for crops like rice and corn. 
And here is uh, here's uh, some images actually of some of the pests that Caratrax controls. So you have like your thrips that might affect your lettuce. You have aphids, as I'd see in the middle, that middle image, and various age and stage of aphids feeding on your plants, like your watermelon or your pumpkin, etc. And also the potato beetle, which is on your far right. One of the things too, and um, you know, this is something that that um, farmers will recommend that all, always to use adjuvants or what you might call stickers um, in your applications. And you know, for a product like Caratrax, that is contact, um, a product like our new film P, once you mix that adjuvant with Caratrax and spray on, it actually extends the life of the Caratrax. Um, in terms of its efficacy, how well it will control and kill your, 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 your target pest for up to 14 days. So it's something that even though it is contact, and you know, most times with contacts, after you spray them on, especially without a, a, a sticker, adjuvant, like the new film P, you would end up having the product's efficacy after about three to seven days be 0%. So it would go from 100% application or 90-something percent at application all the way down to zero within five to um, three to seven days based on you know how you mix and handle the chemical and how you applied it, the time of day, and the environmental conditions. So using the adjuvant like new film P can actually help to keep the product there for up to 14 days. Now, Caprid 20SL, this one now is a systemic insecticide, and this one has been around for a number of years, and is one of those products that, you know, all farmers have should know and have used already and found that it is very effective. Now, it is double systemic with translaminar um, action, and, you know, it has no adverse effects on your beneficial insects and nat nat um, natural enemies. And it's compatible with most um, pesticides, pretty much almost all, all pesticides that are supplied by AgChem. And, you know, for, for farmers who, you know, they, they, who rear bees um, and who are, in, who are, you know, big on keeping um, insects such as, you know, your predatory wasps or your ladybugs, you know, Caprid is one of those products that does not kill them. And, you know, ladybugs and the predatory wasps, they feed on, you know, things like your, 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 um, your mites, um, your aphids, etc. So in terms of target pests, you know, the, the nymphal stages are the younger stages, the juvenile stages of your white flies, strips, leaf miners, aphids, mealybugs and scale insects. And then, you know, even for, for farmers now who grow cabbage, a lot of farmers never know cab, um, caprid can be used in cabbage. But if you have issues with diamondback moth and they are breeding up in your field, this is a product that actually will kill the eggs. So it has an ovicidal activity. And ovicidal mean that it kills the eggs of the target pest. Mixing rate is also pretty low at 2.5 to 5 mils per 3.8 liter, which and the 3.8 liter, as I mentioned, is a gallon. Recommended crops for use includes watermelons, cucumbers, pumpkin, tomatoes, cabbage, cauliflower, hot peppers, sweet peppers, eggplant, pineapple, amongst many other um crops your re-entry interval is 12 hours and pre-harvest interval is seven days now for this product being a systemic product we also recommend now for something like this you use a systemic adjuvant like our exit and notice me stressing the use of the adjuvants is the use of the adjuvants basically ensures you get the maximum effectiveness from each chemical that you use. 
using the chemical by itself with water and you know I, 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 the cabbage farmers especially and persons who grow or have had um, or have banana or planting when you spray water on cabbage leaf or banana leaf you just see it form up into droplets and run off using the adjuvants what it does is break the surface tension of the water and leaf and actually let the chemical penetrate and either coat the leaf in the case of your new film P or penetrate into the leaf in the case of your exit or breakthrough. <clears throat> so it's very important to note the use of, of these products. Okay, here is Caprid in action. So it's very, very good for webworms, as you'd see in the image on your left. And webworms are those little worms that affect your sweet potato. So, you know, especially going into the summer months you now, a lot of farmers who have potatoes start to see these little spider web looking things farming on their potato leaves. You see the potato leaves start to turn yellow or brown and dry up is actually activity, the feeding of the webworms that can cause that. Caprid is very, very, very good in terms of controlling webworms. White flies as well. And you know, white flies and trips are extremely hard for farmers to control. And honestly, I tell farmers this all the while. You see, when the Almighty made white flies and trips, they never make them full. So you see, when they see danger and death, them know, take for yourself. So they will always take for themselves after you do the application. So who it don't kill, them leave and go somewhere else and spend a little time and come back. So sometimes even you, the farmer, you have a tomato field now that young and you put in everything into it and two chain away, you have the old tomato field that you stop spray a long time but you refuse to weed out and clear back the land and get rid of the, 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 those old plants. And it's the old plant, them, the, 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 the white flies in there breeding up and living off of, and waiting until the caprid wear out and then them come back across. i tell you something even more. Trees, even a lot of fruit trees like your ackee and others, white flies will actually, and even ornamental trees, so like a poor man's orchid and others, many, there are many um, tree crops out there that white flies actually favor and enjoy going and feeding on. So it is a, it's definitely a, a pest that will give you some amount of trouble in terms of controlling. But Capri can give you up to two weeks control and you get the two weeks control as our breakthrough. Taro leaf hopper is also another major pest. And this one now would be for, you know, you would encounter this if you do dashin or cocoa. You see this little pest on the um, underside of the leaves. And you know, they, 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 they give a lot of trouble here, pierce the leaves and pull the juices out of it and create a, a sort of mayhem in your dashin and cocoa. So, you know, my, my dashin and cocoa farmers, you would definitely know this pest and the damage that it can create if you allow it to get to an infestation like you're seeing in the image to extreme right. Now, Indicab is another one of our broad spectrum in insecticides. And, you know, we have promoted it greatly for use in controlling Lepidoptera, but, you know, it controls a lot of other insect pests and this one is contact so the mode of action is contact and target pests includes your cutworms your lupus budworm armyworm diamondback moth pinworms fruitworms and leaf miners and you know farmers i can tell you this that you know in 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 doing applications in controlling these pests we have found where even your, your things like your 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 diamond um <clears throat> sorry things like your diamond back moth you know we have seen very 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 good control 
in terms of those pests using products like this in the car. Even um, other insect pests like your white flies and your thrips we have found that use of this product actually keep them away as well. I recommended use, um, you know, in, in crops like broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, your corn, your lettuce, pepper, tomato, potato. Um, you know, for, for an, you see for a crop like corn, especially after it has started to flag and you're farming, it's farming the corn itself. You know, if the pest has actually burrowed down into um, the, the corn itself, you know, it might be, it's very hard for you to get at him when it's inside. So, you know, a product like a new film PR exit actually will help it to penetrate better into um, and, and, um, into the, the corn itself for you to get the control that you desire. All right, um, I believe we have a question in the chat. Okay, so um, Carleen has um, skeleton and she has uh, um, weeds in her skeleton and she wants to know what is it that she can use to get rid of it. Um, the product that we would recommend um, for use here would be Carista and Carista is a, is a non-selective herbicide but it's one of our more gentle chemistries that can be used through multiple crops. So your cabbage, you know, your, it can be me with three tomatoes, through your peppers, etc. But one of the important things is that using it through the crops ensure that you spray early morning when there's still dew on the weeds. And try to, when you're doing the application, you don't let the chemical catch the target plant. Because as I said, it's non-selective, so it may burn your commercially grown crop. In terms of application rate for Indicarb, 5 to 10 mils per 3.8 liters. And the rate recommendation given here is you know if it is that you know your crop is young you don't have any weeds in it per se um sorry any pests in it per se a lower rate of five mils per 3.8 liter is recommended if it is that the, the, you're starting to have an infestation and the infestation might get out of control you can go to a 10 ml per 3.8 liter application rate your re-entry period is about 12 hours and your pre-harvest interval is seven days except for potatoes as Irish potatoes it is 14 days in terms of the sizes we have it in and you know we have we brought, we brought it in, in three different sizes you know based on the farm size the farmer's pocket and the farmer's farm size 100 mil 250 mil and 500 mil presentations Okay, um, so we have a question. Can Indicar be used with exit? Uh, yes, it can. But for Indicar being that it is contact, we recommend that you use it with new film P over that because if you're going to be using, especially on a crop like cabbage, I think using it with new film P will definitely give you the best level of control because it will allow the chemical to penetrate uh, and coat the leaves of the cabbage so that once the pests come and feed now, it, act, it, it, it knock him out right away. Okay, so here we have some of the demonstrations. So the image on your right, you see how, you know, your diamond back moth, your cabbage looper can do damage, serious damage to your crops. And on your left, you can you see how well in the carb itself can help to protect your cabbage crop. 
so that you know even if you get some bite on the leaves is nothing significant where you have to cut off you know a, a quarter or half of the weight of your cabbage which is an issue that many farmers face when they go on selling their, their, their produce you know especially something like cabbage when you have to be peering down the cabbage you know multiple layers just to get it clean or looking clean you know you're losing money every piece that drop on the ground you're losing weight and you're losing money now this product is actually a, a proven chemistry okay um okay so i have another question um regarding corn and you know what would be the best control for worms um in the corn so for 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 our recommendations would be we have a very nice combination which can be shared with you um of products that we use for corn including in the carb caratrax and another product that we have mimic and we use them in a spray cycle um roughly five to seven days apart control um, of the worms in the corn because one of the things you must note Dennis, we're getting no sound. Yes. Um, so once it is that you, once it is that it, uh, it the, the the corn cob has been is being formed. If that is when it's very difficult for you to actually get at the pest because the pest is protected by everything that is covering the corn itself. All right, so the use of a product like new film or exit in the case of mimic, um, you know, at that point in at the time that you have tasseling and the corn is being formed should give you the kind of protection that you need. Um, in terms of how it acts, it's something that knocks down the pest quickly. So from the time of application to the time you see the pest starting to die is short. You know, so 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 for this product, you know, we 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 you do the application now and within an hour you start to see the pest falling off of the the, the, the leaves or the plants onto the ground and they start to die pretty much right away. In terms of the pre-harvest interval is also short, you know, seven days. Um, it can be utilized in terms of your spraying program with other insecticides as a good management tool for controlling the pest and ensuring that you don't have resistance built up against the insecticide. You know, it has a very low dose rate, you know, one, one to tea, two teaspoons or five to 10 mils. And it has consistent performance. And you know, this is one of the things that we're proud of with um, IndyCarb is that no matter the environmental conditions that you do the application through. So even though for insecticides, once again, we say, you know, ideally late evening is the time that you need to apply, you still get excellent performance from these products.
Okay, and now we look at the fungicides. And Dennis, charge yeah. We're not seeing your screen. Just a sec. Just a sec. Okay, are we seeing the screen now? Yes, yes. Not sure what caused it to go out just now. Okay, so oh, we'll look at now at our fungicides from AgriCare, and specifically now we'll be looking at carbendazim. Now, this is one of my new favorite fungicides and the re one of the major reasons being that it's a systemic fungicide that controls a wide range and it's a very wide range of soil-borne and foliar fungal diseases. And what tops it all off for me is that it is very, very cost effective. The price per application, the cost per application for carbendazim makes it so that no farmer should have an excuse as to why they're not spraying with fungicides. And to get the maximum out of carbendazim, and I'll let you in on a secret, use carbendazim with a product like Mancozeb. So, you know, carbendazim would be the systemic, it's working from inside out. Carb and Mancozeb being a contact fungicide would also now coat the leaves of the plant and give you added protection. So you have protection inside and out. And for this product, you know, people with the, 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 the peppers, you know, your peppers, your trouble with um, issues like uh, damping on your nursery or have trouble with issues like um, you know wilt, where you see you, you you have your nice nice tomato or pepper plant today, and tomorrow you see it does dry down. This is one of the products that can actually help prevent that, and it can actually use this through your drip system or as a drench to help control um, that issue. So you know your target diseases includes you know limited anthracnose. <clears throat> So 
many fruit and vegetable crops suffer from this. And you know, that would be how you know is anthrax nose. You see like a, 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 a circular type depression with concentric rings in it. And you see this commonly in say your peppers, in papaya, you can see it in tomatoes, etc. Um, you know, even watermelons. Uh, you have your gummy stem blights, your stem blights, and your cocoa bits, uh, your fruit rot, your powdery mildew, downy mildew, etc. Uh, a question is everybody still seeing my, my screen clearly? I got a message um, that. Someone has not seen the screen still, so I just need to ensure everybody's seeing. We're seeing most of the screen, but there's a green thing at the bottom. But go ahead. Um. Okay. All right. All right. So your recommended crops includes your crocobits, your papaya, melon, tomato, eggplant, leafy crops, pepper, mango, pineapple, citrus, ornamentals amongst others and the application rate is actually pretty low at 2.5 to 5 mils per 3.8 liters with a re-entry interval of 24 hours and a pre-harvest interval of three to eight days depending on the crop so one of the things farmers um that would ask for you to do is ensure read the label ensure which crop it is that you're planting and observe the pre-harvest intervals for that particular crop. And here we have images now of carbendazim being used to control a common issue in crops like lettuce, your circus for a leaf spot. And you know, you're basically seeing where all the lettuce looking clean as I was I don't have no issues with leaf spot in the lettuce. And the sizes, the presentations we have Carbendazim in is uh, 100 mil, 250 mil, one liter, and three liter. And you know, as I said, for a product like this that is so cost effective, you definitely can make this an integral part of your fungal disease control. Okay, um, we have a question regarding um, weeds in ginger. Okay, so. In the interrows, a product like our Carista would be one of those products that I recommend to be used through the rows. You have to be careful though that you don't let it catch the ginger itself because it will burn it. But Carista is one of those products that through the rows of almost any row crop, and you know, I've had farmers who use it through the watermelon, through the pumpkin, you know, in terms of spot spraying. So running up and down, you know, your pumpkin or your watermelon or your cucumber, but they don't lock up properly and the weeds starting to come up in them. So that area that the weeds are coming up in, you just go through and spray. Ideally though, once again, I will stress, spray early morning for your herbicides. Yeah, insecticides and fungicides for best results, spray late evening. <clears throat> and here we have carbendazim once again being used now in, in nursery operations to control damping off. So the images on your the image um, on the image in front of you to your left, you have control um, of damping off. So you see where you know the ceilings germinate and you don't have any issues with damping off you know, anything significant in terms of damping off, killing off the ceilings. And um, to the right of the image, you have issues where you can see damping off was affecting a number of the ceilings in those trays. All right, um, any questions? Yes, Lucky, there was a question that was sent from Terry. Mm -hmm. I'm planting cucumbers that produces every three days. Probably it's supposed to be picking every three days. What pesticide and fungicide? can be used with a short or pre-harvest interval.
Mikey, you heard the question? Yeah. Dennis? Okay, so the question is, I'm planting cucumbers that produces every three days. What pesticide and fungicide can be used for short um, harvest intervals? Okay, so for a three-day cycle, remember uh, um, Caratrax was one such product that we recommended that can be used in a three-day spray cycle that should not um, that, that, that is a product that should not negatively affect your harvesting program. In terms of your fungicides, if I'm not, carbendazim should be able to be used um, in that spray cycle to, to help give you the control of your fungal would be affecting your 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 cucumbers. However, one of the things though is that for cucumbers that you're harvesting so quickly, um, the high um, in in quick succession, I should say, uh, it is you wouldn't necessarily need to spray after that first week of harvesting because typically it will not last more than three weeks, um, two to three weeks from the first harvest. Okay, um, I have a giveaway question. Um, so I hope everybody is here with me. Okay, so the question is, and it's something that I stressed multiple times throughout the presentation, Where, and, and, and for the person who answers the question, um, please use the, um, the raise hand feature. And then uh, once we acknowledge you, or even just type something in the chat quickly so that we can identify you and you can answer the question. Um, the giveaway today is a product, a new product from, from Agchem, um, our fertil soluble fertilizer line called Agassi. And definitely this is a product that I would love for, you know, a farmer to get and try out because you get really good results in terms of using it in how it affects your plant, plant growth and the quality of the production that you get using um, this product, Agassi. So as I said, I stressed this multiple times throughout the presentation. And the question is, When is the best time of the day to spray herbicides? And when is the best recommended time of the day to spray insecticides and fungicides? Once again, when is the best time of day recommended for you to spray herbicides? And the best time of day recommended for you to spray your insecticides and fungicides.
Okay, so Agri Biztech messaged first. Uh, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Agribistec. Okay, so we have the correct answer from Agribistech. Herbicides in the early morning, fungicides and insecticides in the late evening. And once again, um, this is because herbicides and herbicide products that, that, that are supplied give you much better results when you apply them in the early morning when they're still dew on the plants before the sun comes up on them. So applying them at that time will give you better control of your target weeds than in the late afternoon or during the day when the plants, when you, know, you have the sunlight up, the plants close up their stomata, the cell walls, nothing going in or out, that the plants protecting itself so the chemical cannot be absorbed into the plant in terms of your insecticides and fungicides if you notice during the days when the sun is up there is little to no activities from the target pests right so your white flies your trips your diamondback monty your carnier worm all of those pests tend to be hiding out during the day but they come out and feed more actively on the outer sections of the plant in the late evening so you actually get better chances increased chances of actually the chemicals coming in contact with the pests. Um, also, in terms of use of your fungicides, and you know, especially for something like a copper-based fungicide like our sulcox, you know, um, using it during the day when the sun is on them, a lot of times the sun can dry them out quickly and cause um, phytotoxicity on your crops. So it's something that you know recommend late evening for those applications to be carried out for you to get the maximum the maximum results are the best results uh precosa um my apologies i i didn't see it um your hand being raised before um i'm not sure if georgia has another giveaway um okay Okay, so so Agribistec um, is actually going to let you get um, get his, his his the gift, uh, and um, but um, Georgia also says that we have another giveaway that we can give. So um, this one is special for you, you now, um, Miss P. And the question to you is. Is carbendazim a systemic or contact fungicide? And what fungicide did I recommend as a good combination with carbendazim? You can say it out or you can type it in the chat. And to, to our winners, please um, 
send Georgia your contact privately. You just send a private uh, message to Georgia Robinson, our host, um, with your phone number so that she can organize for delivery of your um, products that you would have won. Also, um, you know, I must apologize. Um, we've been having, I've been having some technical difficulties in terms of how the internet has been here. Um, I think that is on my side that I'm having very strong. So I'm not sure if the blowing in terms of cable and wireless or flow and their lines is what is causing is causing the, the service to fluctuate a bit. But I hope everyone got the information satisfactorily. And um, any further questions, um, I believe we have, we, 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 we have this presentation on YouTube that you can rewatch and get in contact with any of our agronomists for any further information. And now I'll turn over to Georgia Robinson. I just want to thank everyone for participating today. Um, for the winners, I'm kindly asking you to send me your telephone number. You can send your number to 876-564-7726. Thank you again. And we will see you next on the 23rd, Friday the 23rd for a live session on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, where we will speak about our Elixir compound granular fertilizer. Have a great day, thank you. Thank you.